Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael and uh, today is a review that I've been putting off for quite some time but I'm finally getting around to it. Now what do I mean by that is well I'm a massive Doctor Who fan and as you can tell by the title there is an episode of classic Doctor Who that I don't like that everybody else does and that is Genesis of the Daleks. So let's get started. Um, so this episode originally aired between the 8th of March and the 12th of April 1975 and is in the early stages of the Tom Baker era around series 12. Uh, and basically it's the Doctor, Sarah and Harry are tasked with preventing the creation of the Daleks because the Time Lords foresaw a future where it was nothing but the Daleks that were left. So. That's what the Doctor, Sarah and Harry have to do whilst, you know, dealing with the ongoing war between the Khalids and the um, Thals. Uh, I almost forgot it for a second and I'm really glad I didn't. Uh, so yeah, that's the basic premise. Um, but we also get introduced to the Dalek creator, which is Davros and, you know, uh, he shows off the mobile unit Mark III is what they were initially called before they went with Dalek, which is Khalid backwards, or that's just the way Terry Nation decided to name this other species. Because we did know of the Thals uh, previously, thanks to the first Dalek episode and the second story in classic Doctor Who, Daleks. Um, when we last were on the planet of Skaro. And, you know, we see the early development of them um, and the Doctor, you know, they, they find out that he's from the future, he has all this knowledge and Davros tries to get that knowledge out of him because, you know, the Doctor has fought the Daleks uh, at this point, uh, you know, for 12 years, you know, since uh, 1963 to 75, the Doctor has fought the Daleks on and off over at uh, that time so he obviously has that big massive knowledge of that and Davros wants that so that way he can use this knowledge to m improve the Daleks to make them better um, and so that way they won't lose you know Davros wants these to be the Daleks to be the ultimate beings and then as the the story goes uh, the Doctor and Sarah and Harry fail to do what they set out to do. Uh, there is the, of course, the most infamous, not infamous, but the most famous line of the Doctor basically asking, does he have the right to kill the Daleks? Because, you know, many member worlds uh, are going to join forces in the fear of the Daleks. And, you know, he has that speech of like, um, if I pointed out someone who was going to be truly evil, do I have that right to kill that person uh, knowing what's going to happen? and stuff and it, you know it's a really good speech it's the same with Davros when the doctor says you know if you had this vial uh, that could wipe out an entire civilization would you break it and you know obviously Davros would you know he's Davros um but as I was re-watching this story uh one thought that uh, there was a thought that came across my mind simply because of my rewatch recently of series nine of Doctor Who and that is somewhere on uh, and around the Khalid base is a particular sonic screwdriver. This sonic screwdriver to be the exact because uh, you know the doctor threw it to uh, the 12th doctor threw this to uh, young Davros which is what led uh, Davros to have it in the witches uh, the magician's apprentice and the witches familiar. Um, so that was just something that I was thinking about. I was like, oh, I wonder where that is in amongst uh, Davros's things. Um, so why don't I like this episode? It comes down to two things. One, uh, the length of the episode. Every time I've tried, uh, every time I try to watch this story, I tend to get bored by episode four. Um, and, and that's mainly because you know, I, in my opinion. Uh, Genesis of the Daleks is two episodes too long. It could have definitely been condensed into a nice four-parter, and I probably would have enjoyed it that bit more. You know, um, it's not a good sign that if 
towards the end of the story, you know, I'm already bored and wanting to do something else whilst watching this story. And I've only ever, this is actually my third time uh, on this watch through of this story. And the other thing, uh, the other reason why I don't like Genesis of the Daleks is once again, like with uh, things that I've already talked about, you know, Star Wars Episode 5, um, Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, the Star Trek TNG episode, Best of Both Worlds Parts 1 and 2, this episode had been built up so much to me uh, prior to my watch, first watch of this episode. So I went in with really high expectations, you know, thinking I was going to like it, like this episode, like well, another classic Dalek episode that was really, really built up to me that I still liked. And the same with within Star Trek, the original series, The City on the Edge of Forever was built up and I actually liked it. And the other classic Dalek episode I was referring to was the Sylvester McCoy episode, Remembrance of the Daleks. But to me, this episode was that letdown because of I was getting bored towards the end of the story. There, there was a lot of parts in this that I felt could be trimmed down um, or even just taken out altogether. And that's something that I've noticed with classic Doctor Who. And I mentioned it last year uh, when I did my review of An Unearthly Child where I felt some of those episodes could either just be shortened down or just gotten rid of altogether. For me, that's the case with Genesis of the Daleks. It, it's two episodes too long and it drags in a lot of lot of places where I'm just like okay can we can, can we speed this up and you know get to the more important parts to the story but at the same time this is a really important episode when you factor in the time war you know obviously back in 1975 the time war wasn't even on whoever was the showrunner at the time's mind it wasn't until obviously modern doctor who and that was brought back that the time war was mentioned and this kind of has a ramifications for that. And I believe it was mentioned in New Who that uh, it, this was a cause of leading to the time war between the Daleks and the Time Lords. Um, but aside from that, you know, the doc Tom Baker does a fantastic performance. You know, like I said, this is early in his Doctor's tenure. So he's still like, every time I watch it, I just get a big smile because it's Tom Baker, you know, I, I made mention that Tom is my favorite doctor of all time. And I can, even though I don't like this episode, I can still enjoy it for because of him. Uh, and of course, Liz Slayton was, a, a, as always, amazing as Sarah Jane. And yeah, I hope I've managed to explain now why I, I just don't like uh, Genesis. It's It's overrated, in my opinion and two episodes too long. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all on the next upload, which if memory serves correct, is my Torchwood Children of Earth review, which is going to get a little controversial because I do not like Children of Earth.